Hello everyone, this is Christy and today I'm going to show you how to make a pages um, for your mini album um, the same as the envelopes but with cardstock. I'm using um, this cardstock, it's from Joann's and it's 12 by 12. For the envelope which is 6 by 9, uh, first you have to score at 6. After you score at 6, you are going to fold and then you have right here the, <clears throat> um, I would say, um, the point where you have to cut. You are going to um, score then at 1 inch on the other side. And then after you fold it, you will cut, you will cut this uh, side, okay, and one inch out. And you, after that, after you score at one, you will score at ten. And you will do the same thing. You will fold the paper, okay, and after you fold the paper, uh, you are going to do the same thing. You cut at six right here and take out this part right here. So you will have like two inches left. If you want, you can uh, you can um, decorate the edge. This is going to be a pocket. If you don't want a pocket, you you can cut just one inch, and this one will be glue on this side right here. When you make the pocket. You glue this one right here, and if you don't want a pocket right here, you have to glue this one inch on this side on top, and you have to cut the same way right here, okay? You have to cut the corners. As you can see, um, these two flaps you had to glue it after you put the joint, okay? So now, this one is just a small pocket, but I don't want to have just one, so I'm going to make another one. And for that one, I cut this, this one right here. This one is 7 by... It was seven by five and a half, but because of the design, it, it's now seven by five. Uh, depends on how how big you want the second pocket, okay? I'm going to put a mark up here, and that's a little bit below my design, below my design right here, the mark of pencil, and I'm going to cut this part up here. I'm going to cut this one right here and this one right here so it's not going to be too bulky when you put this one inside okay cut the piece so this one will go inside see and I'm going to glue just the sides right here. And I have one pocket and an, another one. So this one is ready for inserts and I have two inserts right here that I made. This one, a small one, that will go here and I did the same edge and I'm going to cover with pattern paper 
also inside right here and so you can use this para pie for a picture or you can use it for uh, maybe a quote or something and this one you can use for both sides it will be an insert and the big one will go, will go on top okay see the measurement for the big one is is going to be five and a half wide and it's going to be um with the it's going to be eight if you don't want to uh, do the edge but if you want to do the edge cut up eight and a half and do the edge with any punch well if you punch is to uh, it's a big design then maybe you can do at nine and if if it's too big you just cut at the bottom okay whatever it is, uh, the measurement you want so this is for the big one and for the small one it's going to be five and a half five and a half by um this one was four and a half okay and i did the edge but if you don't want the edge it's going to be at four five and a half by four okay this is done and for the insert insert up here i made this um two pages um that you can put in here an insert and also a flap that goes to the next to the next side and um for this one i'm going to give you the measurements but i want you to not to notice this but up here that I made the edge okay now I'm gonna tell you why and this insert is um, eight and three quarters by 12 if you want to do the edge do it on one side and you have to score at six so when you you do the edge and you fold one it's going to be shorter than the other one but if you don't want to do the edge you want to do a straight you have to cut this one at 11 and 3 quarters so you have one quarter of an inch less on this side because this one will go in in the middle and you will have two flaps and when you open it close or oh, oh, it's easier even if you don't have another flap up here it doesn't touch the, the bottom of your mini oven right here and it doesn't stuck you have to do one quarter of an inch shorter that's why okay. for this one which is the pocket on top you have a 12 by 12 you are, are going to um Score at six. You, then you are going to turn. Okay, it was right here, right? You're going to turn this way, and you're going to score at nine. And when you score at nine, you fold this part up here, okay? And you make you crease it very well, and then you're going to cut at nine, and you cut this one the half the half part up here of this flap so for this one okay if you cut up here and you fold this way you're going to have a pocket up here this opening had to be inside uh, next to the joint okay next to the joint right here so this one it will be the edge on that side and for this page that has the opening on top you have to glue this part up here first okay as you can see right here i just put a little bit of glue i use glue and then um after you have this one done you are going to see, you are going to glue to the next um page right here okay to the hinge of your uh, mini album and then you're going to add um, 
the hinges for the pockets. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Have to put the hinges right here for your pocket okay Then you have a pocket right here and a pocket on top so you can put your insert. Okay. Now, my insert right here on the top, it's going to be five and a half wide. And because this is nine, nine, I just measure nine and one half. Because um, one half out to pull, it's going to be fine. But if you want to do less, you can uh, cut nine and one quarter or maybe ten. Depends on how you want to decorate the, the top. Okay. Okay, now that this is done, um, I already done with all these pages. And I also did, um, I also made this um, kind of card that will go in the pocket right here and this one is 11 by seven and a half and you have to score at five and a half okay so after you score at five and a half you're going to fold and this will measure five and a half by seven and a half so these are four pictures five by seven and it will hold four pictures there and that will go on the pocket okay where you open it is on top now i'm done with all of the pages and i put um some with the opening on top and some on the side i put on top on the side top and opening on the side top and on the side okay and then i made a cover with chipboard and I cover with uh, black cardstock as well and now I'm going to bind it the same way as I bind over all, all of my mini albums and you can see the tutorial in my channel how I bind these mini albums and I'm going to finish it and you will see in another video how this uh, mini album will look like okay thank you very much for watching my videos for subscribing to my channel, for your likes, and for all of your comments. I really appreciate them. Um, I hope this idea is very helpful for you. And have fun creating more albums with cardstock now. Okay? God bless you all. Bye-bye.